welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing another Gymshark haul slash review slash answering all your questions about Gymshark because I get a lot of questions about Gymshark over on my Instagram. YouTube is the best place to just chat, to talk about all these things. So, I'm here to answer your questions, show you this massive haul that I have received. But first, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome, I'm Brittany. And this is my channel. <laughs> I mainly do videos about lifestyle, fitness, health, life. Yeah, I don't know. Videos are here. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so if you're coming from my Instagram, hi Instafam, comment down below so I know you're here. You have seen me wear a lot of these pieces. I've been trying not to wear all of them so that you can kind of see everything in this video. But I'm gonna talk about everything, sizing, squat proof, how they fit, different styles, what their materials relatable to, everything. So I always start by showing you my stack. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Okay, I have got the new Vital Seamless range that I'm gonna talk about, the new Flex. Flex shorts, they're running shorts. I've got a lot of tops, the cropped tees, some tanks, and the ribbon crop tops. So I've got a lot of good, oh, did I mention? I have some fit too. I've never reviewed the fit before, so I have some fit and I'm excited to talk about that. So let's just hop in. I know Gymshark is having a big um, like Black Friday sale, I'm pretty sure. So if you see anything you like here, wait until that massive Black Friday sale. Like all of their athletes are posting about it. I am not a sponsored athlete, by the way. So I'm first going to start out with the Vital Seamless. In my opinion, that is my favorite. It is the holy grail of Gymshark. I'm not even going to lie. Like if you want any set, definitely get the new Vital Seamless set. It might be a little bit more expensive than the other sets, but their leggings are truly high-waisted so comfortable, durable, and for the most part, they are squat proof and sweat proof. So I've got the black Vital Seamless set. I got the leggings, the bra, and the top. And then I also got it in the blush pink. Gymshark hasn't come out with a full black set in a while, so I was so excited and I had to get this set when I saw that they were releasing a full black set. Cause you know, everybody needs a pair of black leggings. Am I right? I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. I am 5'2 and I feel like these end at the exact point when they should. They come right above my ankle. It's more of like a seventh eight of a legging. Okay, so I thought the best way to show the whole seamless range is to show kind of one from each. This is the very first original, I think, seamless that they had. I get a lot of questions on Instagram when I wear these leggings. These are the original ones. These are the energy seamless, not the new energy. I don't have any of the new energy, but this is the older one. And then these are the ombre seamless, and then this is the vital seamless. So you can kind of relate the Vital Seamless to the Ombre Seamless, I'd say probably the most. The logo is a little bit different, and then on the Vital Seamless, you have really, really cool detail throughout. You can't see very much on camera, but when you get it in person, it just looks really cool, and it's super good quality. Like, honestly, these are probably the best leggings that I have. So when it comes to the waistband, these are the most comparable, the Ombre to the Vital Seamless, just for height. And the Vital Seamless is a little bit thinner of a waistband, and I find it's more comfortable than the Ombre. The Ombre is a little bit thicker, and it is kind of this more ribbed material. But I honestly love both of these leggings. Now, comparing the Vital Seamless to the Energy, the Energy's waistband is a lot higher. So that's, I mean, it's not perfectly folded, but it is almost an inch higher when it comes to the Energy Seamless versus the Vital Seamless. 
So here's the bottom of all the leggings. These are the original seamless, the ombre seamless, the vital seamless, and then this is the energy seamless. And I just wanted to add in when comparing the feel of each of these leggings if you've had the energy seamless they're super thick and compression like like they hold you in especially because you have this high waistband you're really compressed and they suck you in the ombre seamless is like a good middle it's still pretty compression like the waistband isn't as high but when it comes to the vital seamless it's really thin super comfortable the waistband still sucks you in but it's not as thick as the other ones and here's the comparison for the vital seamless with the flex legging the flex legging is a true low rise legging you can pull them up to be higher but these are definitely a true high rise and these are a lower rise legging so gymshark has had the cropped long sleeve in the vital seamless before these are revamped and are a little bit different but you can compare them to the old vital seamless the differences are is that this cuff is a little bit shorter in the old vital seamless and the one in the new vital seamless is a longer right here so that's a little bit longer they still do have that awesome thumb hole for you and the old one did as well another small difference is the length on the bottom of the band so this is a little bit longer of a stitch at the bottom and the new vital seamless is also a little bit shorter something that i really appreciate about gymshark is that they are starting to have like a color palette to where you can mix and match different outfits like this blush pink looks cute with the black but it also goes with their new flex shorts which i'll be talking about later but i love that you can now mix and match and pull and create different outfits and different styles within all of the new releases where if you go on their website you can see that all of their steel blue stuff will match it's just cool to know that if you don't get the perfect matching set they have other variations that will also go together okay so up next is the fit collection this is my first time getting anything in the fit collection i've always shopped the seamless and the flex also something i want to say is when i work out i take my thumbs out of these holes and i just scrunch them up right here so I can lift because when I'm like doing legs and everything like when I wore this for legs day for leg day I'll just do that I might even roll them up just so they're out of my way and I can lift because the thumb holes are cute like to and from the gym and out and about but when you're actually working out like I don't want clothing there okay so for the fit collection this was a new ball game for me and I was really excited to try it out so I'll show you the two sets I got I got the blue and the gray and yellow i am like shocked at first i was like oh what am i gonna do like i'm trying out a new set am i gonna like it how's it gonna fit is it squat proof what's going on but lo and behold it's pretty dang good so up first i got the gray and yellow and this is the sports bra and something about the fit collection is that it does not have padding like it is just the bra. I just pop in little pads from swimsuits or other sports bras and then I'm good to go. And then these are the leggings. So you've got the nice waistband that says Gymshark across. And then something else that they have, and I don't know if this is new to this fit because I've never bought them before, but they have this little plastic strip and I think that helps it so the band doesn't slip as much. I have yet to work out in these but I'm very curious what they're like working out in them. For the rest of the legging, other than the band, it's just slight gray, just gray all the way through. The second flex outfit that I got is the teal blue. <laughs> just gotta flip it around. <laughs> okay, Brett. <laughs> but once again, this bra does not have the pads, so I just slip in pads from other bras and it works. But I just thought this color is so cute and I feel like this might be cute on. So I got the sports bra. I also got the shorts. I am loving Gymshark's shorts, so I really wanted to try the, flat, the fit out in their shorts. It also has that no slip band, but they are just plain blue. And the leggings are the same. It has that little anti-slip, the same waistband, and it is just blue all the way through the leggings. I'll read you off what the material is in these. It's 83% nylon and 17% elastane. 
it is like this very stretchy it's almost it feels like if you've ever had nike pros it feels like the same material as that a little bit thicker so honestly the material feels super nice and i couldn't tell online what the material was like so i was actually really really happy and surprised when this came in it feels really durable it feels high quality <laughs> is I think is I got a small in all of these I think the bottoms are a little bit too big and I definitely could have sized down to an extra small because I do get a little bit of a butt gap like right here in the back and then another thing about these shorts is they do kind of make you have a bubble butt like they ride up so I do have to keep like adjusting them because they will just ride up in the back I mean, I can't lie, it makes your butt look good, but at the same time, when I'm cranking it out throughout a workout, I'm not gonna wanna worry about my clothes or the way that it looks to make sure I'm not revealing too much, so, yeah. Okay, so my final thoughts on the fit is the sports bras are good, true to size, like I can wear a small in these. But the leggings definitely size down on if you are smaller in the waist. These are definitely too big for me. I think they would be cute when I'm pregnant, you know, with a little belly. I'd fill them out a little bit more. Not saying I'm pregnant. Just saying if slash when it happened. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I just find the band on the leggings a little bit too loose. I think that's probably why they added the, the no slip blob on it so that it it stays in place better but the bands are definitely not as well made as the flex bands so these are the fit bands and then these are the flex bands the flex is just more elastic and it fits and it stays in place like i do not feel like these ride at all maybe that's something that they will change in the future about the fit so now that we've gone through the vital seamless collection and the fit so now time for shorts. So I've got the fit shorts that you already saw me try on. The band is a little bit looser and it has that anti-slip grip thing in it. You've got the flex shorts, which I have tried on in previous videos, but Gymshark did release this new color, which is so beautiful. And it's really fun because it goes with my Vital Seamless top. So the band and the Vital Seamless top are the same color and I just think that's so cool like I really appreciate the Gymsharks doing that so the flex shorts are definitely my favorite and I prefer them over the fit shorts the flex do not rise up the band is extremely secure and I think the contouring for the little bum is just so cute but my favorite shorts of all time from Gymshark that I try not to overwear because I really would wear them every single day of my life if I could is their running shorts now this is not a new release these have been on their website for a while but these are the cutest shorts and I don't think enough people know about them so go buy yourself them before they are gone even if it's winter you will wear them in the future so these are the shorts they have just enough detail like I just, where do I start? I'm obsessed with these. I need to go buy them in every color and buy another pair of these because just, oh. I did size down to an extra small in these because this part of the short goes up your waist and I just have a smaller waist, so that's why I wanted an extra small and they fit perfectly. So, this waistband, I just, it, that's the cutest. And then they have the cute little Gymshark logo on the side as well as a pocket. They have a pocket! And that's the same for the other side. The back is definitely longer than the front for the shorts. So you get your full bum covered. These aren't super cheeky shorts, but they are running shorts. So they are, you know, running shorts tend to be a little bit shorter, but these are definitely not cheeky and they cover your full bum. These really are my favorite shorts, hands down. I love these shorts. 
I'm now going to show you the tops that I got so I can pair the tops and the shorts together and you can kind of see how I mix and match them with all of these different tops. Now, first up, my favorite, my obsession, my life, it is the fraction top. So the fraction crop top is indeed a crop top. <laughs> Here it is, the little crop and the logo is cut off at the bottom. Like that's so cute. It is so cute. It is the perfect length for a crop. And this isn't just your average t-shirt material. Okay, this is that stretchy, nice material. This is that material where you're like, oh shoot, like dang, like what? I'm sorry, but what is this made of? Like who, what, okay, what? This is so nice. I will read you what it is made of. It is cotton and elastane. So it's just the perfect blend of cotton and stretchiness. So when you work out, you're not getting overheated, but you look dang good, like, Ooh, ooh, I'm obsessed. So I got this in the black. Wait for it. Guess what other color I got? Maroon. Yes, this is the shirt I was wearing at the beginning of the video. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm sorry, but who in the... Oh, I was calling my name. Thank you very much, Fraction T-shirts. Staples need, need need if you get anything actually get this get these t-shirts because you can match them with absolutely anything you want to wear lululemon cool get yourself the dopest t-shirt for the gym okay like just you'll thank me later up next is the ribboned crop top now this is the cap sleeve crop top i do have a ribboned tank when gymshark like a long time ago sold those i bought one Love it, one of my favorites. But now they have the cap sleeve ribbon crop. So you've got these little ribbons that you tie around yourself, makes you look cute, and then you've got a cute little t-shirt. I got it in slate lavender as well as their citrus yellow. And Gymshark with their yellow, stop it. You guys are killing it right now. Look how cute. I loved working out in this. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw me wear this, so. What's it to you? Love these. Cute, fun, a little bit more modest, not as showy, but cute. And last but not least, is the Gymshark tank. Look at that. This is just your average modest tank where if I don't wanna be showing nothing, I'm wearing this tank, I got a little bit of shoulders out, but it's cute. It's a pretty modest crop, so you're not showing much skin and the back is just blank but you got this really cute Gymshark logo these little cut sides so when you move you've got some good airflow going on I just think that this is really cute and I feel like the color khaki is flattering on most skin tones joggers and they were in my last video I will link them down below they are the oversized black joggers with the Gymshark writing down the side 
those are the only joggers I have. I like them. They are very oversized, but I bet they have so many other bomb joggers that I just haven't tried yet. So maybe in the next video, I can try and cop some joggers. Becca asked, are they true to size? I feel like Gymshark is very true to size. Very, sometimes I feel like I want to size down and I've bought enough Gymshark now that I'm like, okay, I think I might be able to start sizing down on some and that might be better. Like that's why I size down on the Vital Seamless. But for the most part, I feel like they are very true to size. Another question is, do the shorts ride up? The fit shorts actually do, they do ride up, but the running shorts and the flex shorts, I've never had an issue of them riding up with the band or with the bottom of the shorts, but the fit shorts, the bottom definitely roll up. Hannah asked, would I consider the flex leggings to be high-waisted? No, the flex leggings are not meant to be high-waisted. They are meant to be a lower waisted maybe a moderate but they're not really supposed to go over your belly button if you see me in a lot of my videos i can hike them up a little bit but you will still almost always see my belly button what is the material comparable to that's a good question each of them are just a different material i kind of related them to previous gymshark purchases or previous gymshark leggings and whatnot i don't know how to compare them to other leggings, but I think the fit is kind of like Nike Pro. It's that same type of feeling. Do you prefer Gymshark or Lululemon? I have never bought from Lululemon. Nope, never have. I find them to be really expensive, and so it's so hard for me to justify buying Lululemon, but I know one of these days I will cave and I will totally buy a set, and that will be a great haul because it will be a different haul. How do the seamless fit versus the flex? Do you need different sizes due to the styles? So I kind of went over that a little bit. I tried to compare the seamless with the flex as best as I could. The flex is just lower waisted. I wear the same size. I could wear an extra small or I could wear a small in both the flex and the seamless. I prefer to wear an extra small. I just like a tighter fit than looser because sometimes on the flex, it will start to bunch up and I'm also short so I have to roll it up. So I personally do prefer the extra small. The main differences between the flex and the seamless are the waistbands. Flex is just a lower waisted and seamless is a higher waisted. What are your sizing and measurements please? My sizings and measurements will be down in the description box. What are the length of the leggings? How tall are you and if they're too long or too short? So the new vital seamless fits perfect. I don't have to bunch it up or anything, roll up the bottoms or anything. I feel like they're more of a seventh, eighth fit almost. So for somebody who's 5'2", you know I'm happy. When it comes to the flex, I roll them up twice, sometimes even three times. And it doesn't bug me. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I do roll them up a little bit. I don't think it's that bad. Maybe one day they will come up with a like short version of their leggings, a regular and a long, but honestly, it doesn't bug me to roll them up. Someone asked, shorts, shorts, shorts. I went over all of the shorts that I have and the shorts that I love. I love the flex and I love the running shorts. Ellie asked, are you excited for the Black Friday sale? Girl, you know. Is my bank account excited? No. Are they squat proof and are they sweat proof? For me, most of these are sweat proof. Like I've never had really embarrassing stains in any of my flex, ombre, or any of them. When I wear the t-shirts, like, I'll get it. Oh. When I wore this t-shirt, I definitely could see my sweat stains, especially in the back. I was just like drenched, but it was a heavy cardio day and I was just running and running. It still didn't even bug me then, but I, I did see my sweat in this little yellow ball of fun. But that's the only time I've really ever seen my sweat is in that and then the other ribbon t-shirt because it's just plain cotton. But I've never seen my sweat in this. And the Vital Seamless is money. I don't know why it doesn't show sweat, but it just like evaporates it's like magic i swear so that is all of the questions if you have any more questions that i didn't address drop them in the comments below i would be more than happy to answer them once again my measurements are down below i will link the sizing that i wear in everything i really hope that you found this video helpful and enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and never forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more workouts, meal ideas, and inspiration, head on over to my Instagram and follow me there. And with that being said, I wanted to thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! I just wanna see the